Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here. Last year I made a video on Razer Cortex Game Booster's advanced setup, but recently I've been getting some comments like how to set up the latest version of Razer Cortex. Like I've got this comment for what version is it? I installed the newest one and the menu looks different than yours. For who has the newest update? So I've been getting some comments recently that what to do for users who have the latest version of Razer Cortex Booster. So here I am again with a video on advanced setup of Razer Cortex Game Booster latest version July 2018. So let's get started. So I have divided this video in few steps. So first step will be downloading this game booster. For those who have already installed this booster can skip this step. For those who want to download it just type on google download Razer Cortex Game Booster and then go to this first link by www.razer.com slash cortex slash boost so right click open a new tab I want to open it so here it's 100% free made for all PCs auto or expert control and click on download now so it's a 4MB file of installer once you install it then it will download about 160 MB through installer and once you install it you will be ready to use Razer Cortex Game Booster so that's how you can download it and installation is pretty easy so I'm not showing it as I've already installed it so that's it for the first step so once you have installed it you can run it by going to your start menu and going to this Razer folder and click on Razer Cortex so it will ask you to log in or register on this Razer Cortex Game Booster. So after making your ID on this, you can access the Razer Cortex Game Booster and it will look like this. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to add game on this booster. So just go to games and click on this plus sign. And here select the game you want to boost. By clicking on this folder icon, it will browse for games. Oh yes, so now I will select Call of Duty World War 2. So go to the main directory of your game which you want to boost and select the main execution file of the game and click on add. So it has added Call of Duty World War 2 here. So that's how you can add a game in Razer Cortex Game Booster. In the next step we will be proceeding towards the advanced setup of this booster so in this step we'll be doing quick configuration so once you go to game booster here you will see three wheels and each wheel has items that can be optimized to increase your gaming performance of your PC so the most important one is boost where I have 20 optimization and it's also the most important part so wait till this part of the video so first we'll be configuring quick Let's click on configure and here only one item is here which can be optimized. So select all the items present here. In my there is only one. So I am selecting it and click on optimize. Optimization successful. Please restart your system for the changes to take effect. So you have to restart your PC for the changes to take effect. So that's it for this step that is quick configuration. Now let's come to boost. Here click on configure. It's the most important part so watch carefully. So here we will stop a number of processes. There are different kinds of processes like here are processes, here are services, here are non-windows services and there are four other services. So here we'll be stopping some services which run in background while playing games to maximize the gaming performance. So first we'll select some processes from here as I've selected ACCSTD.exe. It is for all those users having Acer laptop. If you are having Vio laptop, you will be having something named Vio. You can stop all those apps related to your PC. So I will also click Active Presenter, but I'm untaking it for right now because if I take on it right now, it's my video recorder. So once I run the game, my video recording will be stopped. Now I'll scroll down, and here I'll, I'm getting IGFX EM module. Take this also, Nvidia container. This is also not of any help when running the game. 
uh, QA agent you can also take off. QA agent one time broker select all the runtime broker here and shell experience host select this also so I have stopped 8 processes from here now here services here I have unticked the bluetooth service because I used my bluetooth speaker while playing the game but if you have no use of bluetooth while playing game you can take this also but I use bluetooth speaker so I am unticking it now here you can also take this w search and take all these which I have already ticked this one this one this one and all these above one except ssd psrv and iphl svc and bluetooth service according to your name so now non window services in non window services first i'll disable this quick access service and let's look for something else well service for graphics control panel i also don't need my graphics control panel while running the game now four others here click clean ram clear clipboard enable game power solutions and turn off automatic updates select all these and also click on explorer.exe so closing explorer.exe will terminate certain programs and functions such as my computer this option will be automatically disabled when performing a manual boost are you sure you want to enable this option click on ok so I also show you so explorer.exe is the whole system where you can see while running your computer so once you select take this so once you run the game everything will be terminated all the process will be terminated so except game there will be only a black blank screen I'll show you further in this video what it will look like and I'll also show you how to get back to your normal PC so that's for this step now let's come to the next step In this step, we'll be defragmenting our games and running the game. So click on configure under the defrag wheel and here select the game which you want to defrag, that is defragment. So I'm selecting FIFA 18 here and click on defrag. It will start defragmenting the files. So it is not that much important step but still you can defragment your game. If there are any fragmentation issues there but the most important part was this one so wait for this game to defragment or until then I'll show you how to run game then so once you've done all the steps that I've shown you till now just select the game that you want to run for example you want to run nb 2 k just click on play and here you can see there's a black screen only except the game and it has released 1439 MB of RAM to run the game so now it will run the game so the game has started so it freed more than 1000 MB of RAM around 1500 MB of RAM to run this game and now you can see FPS are also written here I am getting 60 FPS with this game 60 FPS so now 50 60 so average are 40 to 50 fps i get average while playing this game using razer cortex game booster so i'll show you in the next video in one of my videos how to get fps here written fps here so now i'll leave this game and once you quit your game you will be back to a normal pc so that's it that's how you can boost your game through Razer Cortex Game Booster. So thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below. Also write in the comment section if you have any query. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.